Yeah, hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to Dave and Joe Liberty Stand. Um, once again, we appreciate uh, your um, support, continued support, and hopefully it's been way we'll down, add though. more. You yeah, can do better. More viewers. Tell some friends. Tell some friends. Hopefully, in you know whatever topics you you want to have talk about. So, um, Dave and I just watched a program, and so our our this discussion, as you see on the title, um, we may change a little bit, but um, ultimately the question, the first question is, what is the supreme law of the land in the U.S. of A. Yes, it so, is the Constitution of the United States of America. And that is what this is. And do you know where our founders got the knowledge to construct the best document that was ever written by men since the Bible? From the Bible. Or from, well, from the Bible. Yeah. yeah. But since the Bible. Since the Bible. Right. That's <laughs> what I meant. Yes. Yeah, Thank exactly. For, uh, putting that right. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it was from the Bible. It I mean, was. Those rights. Well, one of the things I I liked, which I learned and I wrote down, is the inalienable rights. And we the I know the Constitution talks about inalienable rights. That means it comes from God. Thank you. It's your rights don't come from the government. If they did, the government I mean they change laws all the time. They right. Your law your rights can come and go. And well, they, and they they're kind of infringing on but actually, right. you, know, you know what? You know, I know laws. a lot of you guys haven't seen this because I look and watch the ratings, and a lot of you guys haven't seen this. But our friend Frank from uh, um, yeah, the, the Mosey, Mosey uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, when we were talking to him. We were, I, I said, you know what? You don't want to read the Bible if you just think that's too much for you, and you don't want to read the Constitution. That's just too much. I said, you could still improve your life by a thousand percent and get the most out of both of those documents, uh, those written things, if there's two tens in both of them. And, oh, yeah. And in the Bible, right. it's the Ten Commandments. Yeah. And in the Constitution, it's your first ten amendments. That's the Bill of Rights. Amendment one through ten is, is the Bill of Rights. And if you just learn the Ten Commandments and the Bill of Rights, and you respect them and live them. No, I know you're... No, 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 no. I no, know no, you're going to no. say. I, no, no, no. I know the rest saw, of it, but, No, I but, saw uh, a show one time, <clears throat> in, in like a Man on the Street interview, and they were right. going up to people. Maybe you and I watched it. But they were asking people, what were the Ten Commandments? And it was, you know, very few people know knew, knew it, you know? Right. right. And, I mean, I, I would struggle with, you know, I've a seen, few. I've seen men on a street interviews where people didn't know who the president was. Oh yeah. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's not yeah. a joke. I mean, that... but but no, I think part of that is again, you know, we are we take our freedoms for granted. I mean, I've I've had that on my heart for a while, um, lately, and it's like we just become so lazy, and I'm I'm part of that too. I mean. Just you and I talking about well, you these know things what? helps, you know. If you'll watch our ratings, I mean, just click on our little channel just to see how many people don't watch, okay? Why do they keep making these shows? Well, if nothing else, Joe and I are learning stuff from right. each other and we're doing that. research. So it's good I mean it's good for us right. individually. Yeah, it is. Uh, because uh, then uh, as we speak to people, then we can be more knowledgeable. And right. More right. So more I mean, this is just an exercise out there online. But somewhere. we're just yeah, and we're we're um, we're uh, recording for pro is it posterity? Posterity, or, yes, yeah. right. But no, I mean, we, long after we're dead, people yeah. will appreciate us. Right, <laughs> so, right, right, yes, right, right. Yeah. Well, okay. So these inalienable rights, though, God gave us those, and and one thing I wrote down is the government. The role of the government is to protect those inalienable right. rights. You know what? Every ask somebody, what is when the president yeah. takes the oath of office? What is his number one duty? What do you think that is? Well, to to, to protect the. Citizens. Can I see that? Go ahead. 
To protect the citizens. Or to protect the country, or whatever. The Constitution, It is it? to protect, listen to the oath of office that the president takes. And I don't know where that is in there. Um, yeah. I, I no, you're okay. I'm but, just uh, looking for, I have some um, on that. But the first line is to uh, uphold and protect the Constitution of the United States. That is the number one. If you do that, everything else is covered. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that goes under that. Protection of the country and the people in it. I mean, that, that's right. Um, it's the Constitution. But I think again, we've taken that for granted. And when, and when you start you know, not abiding by the Constitution, yeah, um, you're not really protecting the people and the borders and the country. Um, and that is what is happening now, gang. Um, that's what's happening. And I've said this before. Hell, I might have said it on the last shows with Frank or Chris or somebody, but uh, or the girls, or maybe all of them. I don't know. But um, um, John Adams said, you know, after this constitu- after they signed, you know, the Constitution was written and we were a new country and that was the law of the land. Said, this this form of government can only be sustained with a, a citizenry of morality, mm-hmm. of, of, of a informed, informed and, and moral, moral citizen, right. citizenry. Right. Well, guess what? We're neither one of those now, guys. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, and, and they, the other neat thing about, and this is true historical facts, that, you know, there are, is proof that what some of the Founding Fathers said and specifically there was there was an account of what George Washington said in a letter of thanks I believe yes when he was, was president published. when he was president and uh, and and we had won the war and he was president and you know we were doing well and he he wanted to have a, a day of um, a national day of Thanksgiving mm-hmm. to God and to have a national day of prayer was it fasting also, or just, I, uh, I can't remember, yeah, but I at don't. least prayer, and uh, um, probably prayer and fasting, because that was big. Then. And um, but yeah, and, and Abraham Lincoln did. They all did that. It was all all the biblical stuffs in this document, and with behind each and every founding father in this. Now some were more religious than others, but I mean they all were to some extent. Well, and I think what stood out to me with the what was talked about and we did put something on our facebook page a link to this 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 discussion these this historical fact but the fact that that the nation should acknowledge god that there's a creator not to say how you should worship him but that we should acknowledge and sure, is yeah. that makes is that sound right, right. and you know what, for, what you, for our atheist friends out there um it's, um, you know, you're not required to right. believe in God. But as, a, as a nation. You, you can, you, you but. Um, because. If it, makes you, if, it, if it makes you feel better to the, I mean, we do have a galaxy and a, a endless space. you got to believe that there's some sort of higher power. Right. So, you, right, so whatever right. the higher power is. Um, you know, well, and the thing uh, is, though, I think. Again, their their point is and was at the beginning of the of this nation was when we do acknowledge there is a God, that means government is not greater. Right. Government not is not God. Government cannot take away because right now something we, that they yeah, did not give to us to an begin alien, with. Yeah, and alienable that rights is what are that something is. God gave us. Right, right. and no one. So no, no one, one can take that away. No one. Well, or, they can or, try. Well, like like one example they gave, I liked was of defending yourself, self defense. Right. That's an inalienable right. That's a right. a right God gave us. Like for instance, if someone wanted to attack Dave, you know, I would try to protect him. You know, I hope. I mean, I hope I. Would. You know, but like my grandson, no, anybody, or my children, I, I or my got, wife. I've or, got my body yeah, yeah. On me. Okay. He's gonna protect me. So, but no, I mean that's the thing. It's like. You know that's that's an ingrained nature of me of man all men and women. well you know a perfect stranger if you if you're walking down the street 
and you see a guy trying to steal an old lady's yeah. purse or something like that, you're going to go run over you, there and try. That's just an instinct. That's a um, well. Hopefully, a, I know. Well, is it in your head that that's the right thing? It to do? is. We may not I mean, do it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're thing. saying, though. Definitely. So okay. Well, I mean, again, I think so. So what I was getting at, though, with someone who doesn't believe in God, you know, for 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 that person to say, as a nation, we shouldn't acknowledge there is a God or a, a higher power is dangerous because because that is protecting yes. their rights as well. If, if without that, if you accept the fact anything, that there's only man and that's it. You're and accepting the fact that other men can great, rule over you with greater power than you can do tell you what to do, make your life for you, right? Uh, right. However they want, which is and, where we're and, going uh, to with this government. Well, that today. is where we're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. That I agree. Is where we're at. I agree because if, if they um, choose that they don't like what you said, then they're, they're they can. We've drawn by all the exits, guys. Um, yeah, that's why okay. I want people to yeah. watch this, these shows. And we're going to go yep. right now because we're going to keep them short. Yep. But we got many, so keep going right, to the next guys, one. Go God to the next bless one. you. Thanks we'll for tuning in. Bye-bye.